Hope everything looks good. Everything looks fine. Cool. What is up, you guys? I see um, Lighty Gab. You passed by the chat. If you're still in here, thank you for stopping by and thank you for the like. Um, hopefully, you can uh, catch the stream later on. Um, let's see. Gobi is back. Welcome back. Glad you're able to make it. It is. It is a little earlier than um, it usually is. Only missed two other streams. Let's see. All right. Looks like you guys are the first to arrive. Um, so just an update on what we've done so far um, for you. Last time we did the entire uh, core fighter. So we did this whole thing right here. It actually took a decently long time for how big it is. 
Um, the time before that, we put all of our metal detailing parts all over. So all we have left are the the bus or the yeah, the beam rifle and the shield left. And then after that, we have the armor, and that'll be the completed build. I mean, we can I guess count the decals, um, but we'll see if I do those on stream. I probably won't just because it's so uh, what's it called? Metal looks shiny. It does. It does look shiny. Anyways, we are going to go ahead and get straight into it. So here's what we're working with today. We need our V, U, U runner, V runner, G runner, other V runner, and W. So let me grab those. Let me put, um, set it up right next to me, actually. And I do have water to stay hydrated. I'm wearing a tank top today because it is very hot, very hot. Welcome back, Ernest. Thank you for joining today. Um, let's see. So, we need, I know we need this gold-plated runner. Guys, let me know if the music is too loud as well. Um, I don't have a good way to like preview what it sounds like. So, I need this. G has the... I'm gonna need one of these. I think I'll, yeah, I'll need this. The W runner. U3 dark gray. It's this Q. This one we'll need. This one we'll need for sure. So we got three of the five. Just need our two U runners, I think. Sounds chill. Cool. Hey, what's up, Lucas? Thank you for joining the stream as well. Yeah, we're back. Um, we are building the beam rifle and the uh, beam saber, not beam saber, and the shield today. We should be able to get through both for the stream today. I think this should have both of them. U3, okay, I need U3. V2, that's the one I need still. That is this one. So we got a good amount of colors going into this beam rifle. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, once again, I'm gonna be using the Gundam Planet Nippers with the uh, Dispay, Dispay Nippers as well. So still trying these out, still seeing if, if, if I really like them or not. Um, they're pretty comparable to the uh, USA Gundam Store nippers, so it's not too bad. But let's go ahead and start. So I need 13. V1, am I missing that or is that? Oh, that's the gold plated one. Music volume is good. Perfect, perfect. Good to hear. Thank you for checking on that, guys. So, yeah, for those who missed it, um, I am going to be doing a giveaway very soon. I just need to find the time to film that. Um, I got, I've got a lot of uh, things going on in my... Uh, work life right now that's making uh making me pretty busy and pretty tired after i get off work but it's a good thing big things coming through for me so but it will be uh, i mentioned it last time there will be three separate prizes this time so hopefully that means that uh you guys have a better chance at winning something and of course there'll be more in the future Eleven thirty-five p.m. That's not too late. Um, not only USA. So I'm 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 able to uh, ship to international countries through. I think USPS has this program. Um, 
where essentially we send it to uh, like in the US we send it to a specific location um, and then they ship it out internationally um, and then from there you guys are able to get packages so feel free to enter if you're not in the USA and good luck but yeah that video should be coming out um, next week I'm still deciding if I want to just do a separate giveaway video for it as opposed to like integrating it into um, another video like I have in the past but yeah okay so we have this take this and put it here boom that is some nice accent right there nice gold accent hopefully it looks good uh, maybe I can change the camera settings a bit for a job the most trusted and largest product repair uh, provider is that is an ad I don't have Spotify premium yes, my now. bad not sure <laughs> how do these perks sound sign on bonus is up to five thousand dollars well a company service vehicle I I'll wait until that ad is done let's see properties Configure video. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Camera control, let's do. There we go. That should be fine. I think that lets you guys see a little more detail in a way. If you go if you don't like that, let me know. It's Janine. Welcome, welcome. Happy European noises. I am uh, not keeping up well with chat today. I wonder if there's a way for me to monitor chat on my phone because my screen is way small for that. Um, I might just pull it up. Um, let's see here. Let's lower the volume. Let's see. I see we have some new people. I don't recognize Ramil. Welcome to the stream. If it is your first time. Maybe you've been here before, but I don't think you've chatted before. I cannot pull up these comments, can I? No? It's too punchy. The first view is better. Okay, I'll, I'll set it back. Then. Thank you for the feedback. Let's do like, oh, no. Is that good? Yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine. That'll, that'll be fine. Oh, no. My, the chat has been loving my vids. First time catching a live stream. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by. Um... We have been through this uh, build journey of the Perfect Grade Unleashed RX 782, and hopefully it will be coming to an end soon. Um, I don't know how soon soon will be though. Oh no, I just see uh, Kobe getting mad. Oh wait, I should probably turn that volume back up for the music. So much stream to manage today. even change I don't think it changed hold on it looks the same again camera control punch it up there we go boom there we go how many more nubs we got on here just that one I 
I am probably gonna miss some messages. Um, you guys are seem to be talking pretty quick today, so if I miss something, feel free to just say it again. Hopefully, I catch it. If you have any questions, especially, don't want to miss any of those. I uh, got this. You thirteen. You three fourteen. You three fourteen. Fighting sleep. I would think that. I mean, I, I feel like it, it gets pretty late where where he lives pretty quick. I think he's uh, like almost the opposite side of the world from me. And right now it is 5.42 p.m. for me. When did I start? Just finish school? Wait, are you talking to me? I'm missing too much chat for this. Phantom Tao, welcome to the stream. I haven't seen you in here before. Uh, let's see. Someone said talk a lot. Am I the one that talks a lot? <laughs> Okay, I think, okay, I think I've at least greeted everyone. Eastern Seaboard stand up. You're, you're, okay, so I've got this. This goes here, and then this closes up on it. Oh, that's like a whole trigger, trigger system. Very interesting. Okay. Yeah. So it's a whole trigger. Wow. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, next. U13, 18, and 19. We'll get those cut out. Um, these two. When you see this, I am the one talking a lot. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Have to say I feel like as as the streamer I, I, I gotta keep up conversation otherwise it's a little boring So I'm hoping that I can finish this one soon. I think um, the real grade Xeong I ordered is in the mail. That'll probably be the next stream project. So that'll be fun. Um, definitely should take less time. But then again, it's like apparently it's huge. Or not huge, but like apparently it's big at least and has a lot of parts. So I don't know if that one's going to take less time or not. Um, probably though. Most likely trying to keep the fun in here <laughs> let's see um, this goes in front right here should snap in yep and then this goes oh I have a nub over here but I can just cut that off because it is hidden anyways Oh, I have another nub. Why did I not see these? I'm slipping. I'm slipping, guys. Waited a day or two. Everything went out of stock. Everything out of stock on what? Oh, on P Bandai. Yeah. That's what sucks. 
Um, that's that's what happened to me. I, I, I don't know if um, you were there in that stream. There's one stream where I was talking about how I wanted... Um, there's a new Gundam variant um, with the heavy weapon system. And it has like a kind of like an off-white color to it as opposed to the regular white that comes with it. And I wanted to get that. But I was like, you know what? I'll just wait. Lo and behold, like a week later, it's not available anymore. Sad days. It's the blessing and curse of P Bandai. I ordered something recently. I honestly don't remember what it was though. I think it was, um, oh, it was the, I ordered the heavy arms uh, eagle unit. The one with like the tank legs and like six uh, Gatling guns, which I'm not looking forward to. The Gatling guns part anyways, but I don't have a master grade heavy arms yet, so that'll be pretty cool. This goes right there. And then you, 12 and 17. Let me see. Don't think you'll buy another real grade. Parts are too small for me. I think I'll stick to master grade. I definitely prefer master grade. Um, my hands are, I don't know if you can tell on stream, but my hands are relatively big. And real grades, they, they definitely have some super tiny parts. So while I'm building this, I actually have... Um, I've been working on the real grade RX-78 too, um, so I, obviously I haven't finished that one yet, but um, the parts are so tiny, and it's hard to, uh, hard to manage sometimes. And then I know, I have a, a cro real grade crossbone that I want to build, and there's like some parts on there that people say are even smaller, so getting kind of nervous for that build <laughs> come on get out of there oh it's stuck stuck there we go Ernest seems like he needs emotional support. Honestly, missing out on something on P Bandai. I don't know if you've ever browsed P Bandai and seen something that you wanted, but it is kind of a uh, kind of sad because you don't know if it's ever going to get reprinted or not, and your only other option is to buy it like super marked up. Gonna try and get the Master Grade Jesta. Looks cool. Oh no, another ad. I need to just let me um let me change that. I'm gonna change the uh, playlist I'm using real quick. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. Let me know if that's too loud. Um, I can't tell if it's louder or not, but this has definitely no commercials. <laughs> so should be better in that sense at least. Um, cool, so we got some up and down motion. I don't know what that is gonna be used for just yet. 
Um, it flips open as well, but we'll see where it goes. So I need U1315, or U315. That is gonna be this part. Chow Kun, Chow Kun. Got the cheap nail gla or glass nail file off Amazon. Good to hear that it works out for you. Um, like I said in, in my most recent video, like it still works, you know, it still works. Um, I prefer the razor just because it, it is a little less effort, um, but the, the ones on Amazon definitely still work, if, especially if you're on a budget, it's way cheaper. Um, but yeah. But if you were to have the, the Amazon one and a razor side to side, and like you were to choose between the two, I guarantee you would probably pick the razor. Channel starting to get popular. That's that's good to hear. Um, I, I definitely see a lot more people on uh, my tutorial videos, which is good. I, I I'm glad that I'm able to help so many people out. Um, but I really, the videos I like making the most are definitely the uh, one tool reviews. Tool reviews are cool, just because I like exploring each aspect of a tool and like if it's actually worth it. Um, and two, like all the, the little fancy clips I do, those are, those are already always really fun to make and really fun to edit. Uh, couldn't find a razor to buy here in Europe. That's unfortunate. Um, I don't know like where their authorized sellers are, honestly. If I knew I would send you a list, but unfortunately. They might have one have a list of them on their website and I know they do international shipping um, so they're Korea based but I don't know I don't remember how expensive shipping is and apparently they are coming out with like a design your own or I guess make your own design um, razor so like imagine like a razor plus or something but you put your own like picture on it something like that i'm thinking about getting one of those i don't know if they've actually uh released it yet or announced it Gundam Battle Operation 2, I do not. The um, So the only Gundam game I have right now is Gu New Gundam Breaker for PC. Pretty cool, very uh, reminiscent of, well not super reminiscent, but it has like elements of Dynasty Warriors if you've ever played that. Um, the storylines are a little interesting. Essentially you just pick which classmate you wanna flirt with. <laughs> It's not like a dating simulator or anything, but in the end, like, someone ends up falling in love with you. Very interesting. Okay. see I feel like I missed some leave the ads no I'm not I, I wasn't gonna leave the ads I was getting annoyed and I can barely hear it in the background 
have I watched Promise Neverland season two yet? I'm actually in the middle of that. Aaron and I have been watching it. Um, so we're not through. Please don't post any, post any spoilers. But season one was really cool. Um, season two is like starting to ramp up. So yeah, it, it's it's getting there. It's very cool for sure. U311. I didn't even really um, hear anything about it. Honestly, I was like randomly searching for something to watch on Netflix and it came up and decided to watch it and it was a good pick. At first, it, uh, I was a little hesitant because like it starts off just like a little, almost like a little kid kind of show, but then it quickly, quickly ramps up. Just finished season one. Yeah, season one is fun. Phantom, if you're still in here, thank you for stopping by. Good luck with your homework. Hopefully that uh, hopefully you're a genius and you you get that done quickly and get back here. So <laughs> let's see. V this one. Cool, and then this should go on top of here. I believe it goes this side. Does it go this side? Yeah, it goes on the flat side. Snap in, and then we need V10. Catch it with my legs. Got it. Cool. Let me see. All right, you, you have a good one. Kobe, have a good night. Have a good sleep. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry I couldn't start this any earlier, but at least you were able to stop by. So, have a good night. Okay, so now we got this. Which one are we doing? This one. This goes up here. And then this goes right here. So, these little gold accents kind of shine through the black plastic there. Oh, I don't have my preview screen up. Where is my mouse? Yeah, there's like the little gold accents through there. Pretty cool. Good amount of detail. I have a nub mark right here. Let me trim that real quick. Is my camera 720p or is YouTube streaming lowering the quality? I think my webcam right here might be, I don't know, it might be doing something weird. Let me see, I can probably fix it. Like the camera itself is all right. I think it's 1080p. I'm pretty sure it's 1080p, um, but YouTube might be compressing it or something like that. Let me see what settings I can change on it. Yeah, I can already tell there's a little bit of like weird lag with it. That's because probably because the shutter speed is a little too low, but I can't directly control that. So what I do is I do this and then I lower the exposure value. So now it's still bright, but like it, it captures the speed a lot better. So hopefully that looks better. Okay, there, there, this, 
you three, ten. Only 720p and a bit of focus breathing. Gotcha. That might be because um, that might be my stream settings then. So for that, I would have to end the stream actually. I'll double check that before the next time I stream just in case. But unfortunately right now, in order to change that, I would have to uh, turn off the stream. Hopefully it doesn't look like a potato or anything. Came for the vibes, that is true. Um, someone mentioned, what do I think of Studio G video? Studio G is a very, he is, he is a very good builder. Um, his, his painted builds are great. Um, I hope to be that great at painted builds sometime in the future. Um, his camera quality is good. It's just, I mean, I don't have really anything negative to say specifically about him. I, I just feel like a lot of, uh, uh, Gundam content creators like they don't they don't like share their face. It's just like Zaku Aurelius. <laughs> He's the only one that shows his face um, I mean studio G has done it a couple times um, I think he's either I'm pretty sure he's Malaysian um, What else but his his videos are really cool Definitely definitely um, can learn from him V2, this one. Mother's Day is always on a Sunday. I'm pretty sure Mother's Day is on a Sunday. It's always in May, right? I only remember that because... Mother's Day is always near my dad's birthday, which is in May. joint right here this here don't break it hopefully oh apparently there's a way to put it backwards um, and then this goes this direction cool, cool everything looks squared up perfect okay let me check am I missing anything oh. where is my mouse oh no Ignore that. I don't know why it did that. <laughs> that was a little random. Uh, YouTube compressing. Just a reminder, Mother's Day tomorrow. Oh, that's why you guys were talking about Mother's Day. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely try to, um, definitely try to change it to 1080p next time. I'm sure this part is more important than this part. <laughs> And the camera itself is 1080p, so this is a webcam as opposed to, I usually use a, a mirrorless camera for my videos. Um, so unfortunately I can't use it both angles at the same time. Um, 
and I so I have a different camera that I use usually for the top-down shot and uh, the battery doesn't last long enough for for streaming so there's that let's see so one first one we move this up oh in my okay cool two we pop this in here yeah so we pop this in here oh this is gonna this is like building an actual rifle I probably shouldn't get on a plane with this um, two three is this so this goes in here and the ball joint goes in there interesting interesting um, do I close this four pivot that down five goes right here Ooh, this is very cool and then there and then six we close it so that is most of it now we just have to have to do the uh, front barrel so this is cool so we have like um, we have this I don't know if this is technically the magazine actually but it's fairly stiff kind of squeaky actually you might be able to hear it oh, you can definitely hear that anyways um, you can like pivot it up and down a little bit that should be good for articulation when you need to move the hands a bit um, let's see we have a peg right here that should pull out I'm kind of scared because I feel like it might pull on the uh, plating and maybe damage that a bit but it is a very nice accent to add to the rifle this darker color I don't know if you can tell up there but so it looks black on camera it's actually like a very dark blue which is very interesting um, there's no dark blue anywhere else on here um, but this is definitely dark blue and not black right here we have some gold or gold accents this is probably going to be to attach it somewhere. I don't remember exactly the different attachment points for it. But yeah, let's finish this up. So we got uh, maybe five more parts-ish, six parts for the rifle. Then we can work on the shield. 22 and 21. Cut these parts out and then catch up with chat again. Okay, let's see. Sorry for the misinformation. That's fine. Yeah, it is. A, it is a very cool rifle. Um, this this is definitely shaping out to be one of the best perfect grades that I've seen. I I don't think it is the most challenging perfect grade. So if you're if you're looking for a challenge. Um, Maybe go for, honestly, go for one of the older ones. I know the, the older perfect grades were more difficult to put together. But this one is definitely cool if you're able to get your hands on it. Um, there should be, I think, either this month or next month is when the next wave of reprints is coming out. If you haven't managed to uh, get a pre-order in already. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Okay, these should attach together right here, and then this should go on the 
front of the rifle just like that oh so this is going to be not an attachment point but this is where the scope goes Oops. don't mind that <laughs> the 20 this one big old scope looking thing Where are I, where am I currently advertising this channel? Um, so I don't really <laughs> advertise a lot. I don't do a lot of promoting, to be honest. I definitely could. I'm just bad at it. Bad at keeping up with it, anyways. Like I've posted a couple of videos on Reddit. Um, I've posted a couple of videos on Facebook in like a specific um specific Facebook group uh, Gunplay Network if you guys are a part of that um, and then Instagram I post uh, a lot so I think some of you guys follow me on Instagram already which is pretty cool uh, let's see G R okay Ooh, and Erin actually got both of us some milkshakes. If she hears this cue, she'll she'll hand it to me in a, in a second. So. Perfect for this hot day. It is it has been very hot in our area. I don't know where you guys live. But it was cold. Oh, thank you. Mmm. Just like Mama used to buy. But yeah, it used to be super cold. But then in like a week, I mean, super cold for me is like 30 degrees. I'm sure it's even colder for some of you wherever you guys live but um yeah it used to be like 30 degrees and in a week maybe less than a week so I think like last Saturday it was probably like 32 degrees and today it's like 76 Fahrenheit that is so I don't know the weather is the weather is not fun have I ever been to Japan? I want to go to Japan. Uh, for sure for the uh, uh, Gundam base. Uh, I want to visit the Gundam factory too. You can like tour the factory where they like make all the kits. See the machines and whatnot. You can see all those things. But you have to like schedule a tour like way beforehand. Um, and then... Like, there's a bunch of, like, just Japan-themed things that I want to visit, too. Like, the uh, Monster Hunter Cafe is cool. Um, Aaron wants to do a bunch of bunch more, like, weeb stuff. Like, go to maid cafes and stuff. I don't, I'm not really about maid cafes, but... <laughs> if she wants to do it, we'll do it. But, that is a future goal, for sure. Don't know if we'll be able to do that anytime soon. Especially with, uh, COVID... Coronavirus still coming around. Let's see. Mm -hmm. And there we have the completed 
rifle. So it's like a double pivoting joint camera. Very interesting. So we can like pivot it out. Hmm. Yeah, we haven't seen that kind of double joint on a beam rifle yet. I don't, at least not that I know of. Um, the gold accents are nice. Like I said, the, the dark blue is kind of weird. Um, everything else seems good though. It's very sturdy. It's not loose at all. Um, and yeah, feels good. Let's see. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. I don't know how to pronounce your name, to be fair. Uh, if you if you wanna put in a nickname that I can call you by in the chat, um, I, I can call you by that. Let me see what you got to say. You live in Korea. Uh, it's just hard, and if you remember, finally got the Razor. Also planning to get the Master Grade Extreme or PG Unleashed, what is better? Since I have both, I would say, as long as, I mean, if both are in your budget, I would say get the Perfect Grade Unleashed. Um, the Master Grade Extreme is cool, but in the end, it's just, it's really just a light up unicorn kit. Um, so it's it's cool if you really like the unicorn, the Gundam unicorn. Um, otherwise, if, if you're just like, eh about it or if you even if you already have a unicorn i would probably say get this one first this is this has been a really fun build so far um a lot of detail and i'm not even done yet um so like i'm, I'm imagining that all the armor is going to be really crazy um like this is the gun this is the gun and it's like super detailed already very chunky very sturdy and now we are moving on to the shield Milkshake time. Pretty good. Okay. Let's see what we need here. G2. X, Q, M, 4. So none of these. Hmm. Definitely need this. I wonder what part we need from this. P1. That's the clear runner. I think this one. I wonder what we'll need the clear runner for. I don't think lights go through it. Q3. So Q, what color is Q? Q is dark gray. So this one? Yeah. So what do we got? One, two, three, four. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. This should be two of them. Maybe not. So this is K4. Um, for this, honestly, we only need these two. No, oh, this one too. Um, X2, gray. So this one is our like poly cap runner. Um, what else do we need? M4. What parts does M4 have? And it's like a small. Is it white? Yeah, it is white. M4. Okay. Um, or white, small, it should be combined with another runner, J2, L, I, is it this one, M, there it is, okay, so we need that one, what else do we need? P3, G, X1, X1, is that part of X2? No, hold on, I know what X1 is. Where is it? There it is. X1 is a very unique part, and we'll go over it now. Yeah, there are poly caps, unfortunately. Um, I mean, obviously they're not going to be visible or anything, 
but they're for the most part they're just for I guess protecting the joint I would say is is the best way to explain oh this is one of those weird ones where it's actually two runners sandwiched together so if you can see I can split it apart but yeah it's two runners sandwiched together um, the last time I saw this was actually on a build uh, I did a couple months ago, maybe not a couple, a lot of months ago actually, probably like October. Um, it was the 1/100th F90, F90 Gundam, and that one, that specific came, kit came out in like 1994 or something, maybe older, 1980 something. But yeah, you had to like sandwich the runners together. It was super strange. I think some of the mega size kits also do the same thing. Like the uh, mega size unicorn, mega size RX78. They have that thing where you have to sandwich the runners together. Um, I have not built those yet, so I'm not sure. I do kind of want to get a mega size RX78 though. It looks super fun. Um, I can't imagine posing it is fun though, but. You know, it's just like a Gundam that's even bigger than this, so that'd be sick. Let's see. What are my go-to sanding grits? So, I don't sand much. Um... I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm a huge fan of the razor. So that is usually what I'm using. So, but if I were to use sanding grits, I would say probably 400, 400, 800, 1200 is a, is a good range. It might not get you exactly um, the same finish as like, just like a standard plastic. You might need to go up to 1500 for that, but those, those are a good range to run through. Okay, so, Q Runner. What do we need? Two and three, yep, okay. Perfect. This one's done, and we just need that one poly cap. I think this is the last poly cap. Perfect. Doo -doo. There we go. Pop this in right here. And then this is probably going to attach to this part I'm guessing somehow maybe not 
So let me show you guys this part before we move on. So this part, if you can see, there's like a metal in there. What that is, is a magnet. So I don't know if you guys were here for this, but when we built the arms, we also built a part with like, there's like a metal insert here. So this is for the shield to attach to the back of the arm via magnet. So that's super cool. Um, obviously we haven't seen that in a kit before. Very, very cool to see. Um, it's relatively, I don't, I would, it's definitely not new technology, but I think it's been more recently, uh, been more implemented in Gunpla. Um, like when people are doing custom builds, super cool to see that they added that in this as well. So not only are we getting LEDs, metal parts, photo etch parts, but also magnets. Very cool. Let's see. So now we need Q blah, blah, blah. Q212. is about to die because I have it um, I'm also viewing my stream from my phone just as like a confidence monitor if you would How do I think an RX-78 Vercal will turn out? I feel like it would probably, probably be similar to um, the, uh, what's it called? I think it's the 3.0. The 3.0 is probably the closest to a Vercal already. Um, in that like it already has very realistic details Usually that's um, how what Katoki goes for when he makes Verka kits. He he goes for like, what would this look like in real life? What what additional details would we need? Um, and like he definitely makes it so they're less anime and more more like movie esque. Something you would see in like a live action Gundam movie. So the 3.0 is probably probably a close comparison. If not the 3.0, then definitely the uh, what's it called? The the new statue they they created last year. That one's cool. I didn't want to uh, <laughs> go through P Bandai to get the kits though. So skipping out on that. Let's see. Hold on, I'm missing some questions here. Uh, hope Bandai starts doing more with other Gundams. Agreed. Um, we we don't need as many protagonist Gundams. Um, the next protagonist Gundam I would like to see is either another IBO kit or an Exia 2.0. We we definitely need an Exia 2.0 just to complete the kit or complete the the squad really. Um, 
Don't need another unicorn. That is true. We have too many. And I'm done with that kit after the Master Grade Extreme. What do I like more? Gunpla that are painted to look like it is from the anime or the realistic ones? Um, so, definitely different strokes for different folks. Um, the anime ones are cool. So, if I were to... If I were to paint one, I would definitely choose the realistic route. Um, with that being said, I don't even like when people do like, um, I can't remember the term right now. It's like where they, oh, pre-shading, where they make like certain corners look dark. I, I just think that's like kind of weird, unnatural almost. And, um, but yeah, if I were to paint, I would definitely go for more realistic and with that being said i do like some that look more anime uh specifically the ones that are specifically the ones that are cell shaded so the ones that look like they're from the borderlands game those ones look really cool but that might be because i'm a huge fan of the borderlands games <laughs> How do I weather? I don't weather right now. I actually have not done a weathered build. Um, maybe in the future I would, but I don't really, I don't know. I, I like the, the super clean look of Gundams. But I mean, inevitably I would do a weathered build in the future. Probably not anytime soon. Let me uh, finish building up this Gunpla Studio first. And uh, get more free time on my hands, then I'll start experimenting with other areas. But yeah, right now I do not weather. Um, I can give you small tips on weathering. That's about it. If that's what you wanted, but I, I, I don't. I don't weather. Um, it is a fine line with overdone and being realistic. So one tip I actually just gave my friend who asked me for tips on weathering. And I told him, like, hey, I don't weather, but I can give you this one tip. Um, definitely, definitely create a story with your weathering. So what I mean by that is each time you add a new detail, you want to kind of create the story for the Gundam. Like, why? Why does it have this mark right here? Why is it chipped right here? Um, and as you do that, you'll be able to kind of subconsciously control how much weathering you're doing to the Gumpla. Because like Ernest said, you can definitely add too much and sometimes you can even add too little. echoing through my mic. When you don't paint the whole kit, you weather it so it doesn't look plastic. I mean, that's a good good tactic to have. I mean, even, even um, just like a slight wash with like uh, thin gray like a, like kind of like an oil slick I think they're what what's that's what it's called in um, like the miniature world even doing that is pretty effective P12 P12 oh it's like a lens for the shield um, but yeah aside from weathering you can even just do like a flat coat a flat top coat which is what I might end up even doing for this kit um, just because there's so much detail, but at the same time, I feel like if I wanted to do a full custom build with it, I would probably just get another, but I say that, <laughs> I say that now, but this kit's like so expensive. We'll see. But yeah, a nice top coat 
would definitely take away that plastic look as well. And then if you add in some panel lining, you're good to go. No. Yep, see Ernest, Ernest got it. So, we've come into a problem, you guys. There's like this clear part that goes in here, but it doesn't, oh, maybe, it, nope, it doesn't stay in place that well. That's not cool. So, we might have to leave it out for now. I mean, it stays in place sometimes, I guess, but overall, it's like very loose. Like, if I tap it, it kind of, yeah, that's not cool, but well, 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 uh, we'll get there. Speaking of panel lining, what if they make a clear outer skin? I should get it. I think they have not like a completely clear, but they have like a clear colored. But anyways, what are you talking about? What are you talking about panel lining? I already posted a video on panel lining. You don't need another one, do you? Mm. It's like half melted and like really bubbly. Weird. Oh yeah, a tattoo. <laughs> that would be crazy. Still thinking about it. Maybe not as the next tattoo, but that would be crazy and very honestly thinking about it for a second time very likely I need to write that one down I would have forgotten if, uh, if you didn't mention it, so thank you. That'll be the, uh, <laughs> that'll be the, uh, the surprise for the, uh, 5,000 followers or 10,000. I don't know. Who knows when that'll be. Cool, cool. I think that was that was fairly harmless. Panel landing video could be a science education video. A lot of long words were used. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't too complicated. Uh, I've, I've gotten a lot of good feedback on it. I think it's actually like the most popular video on my channel already. And it's like obviously one of the newer ones. Um, picking which Gundam's lighting you would use would be interesting. That is, that is true. I don't know if I would... Would I go for a specific Gundam or would I go for just like general patterns? You know how like they have like the like the trapezoid in a line kind of thing? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how wild I get. 
so far so we got m9 and 10 yeah I think that's all we need from this runner Sinanju does have person like arms but I built the real great Sinanju in that was the biggest disappointment the second it was the second worst kit I've ever built the first worst was actually that uh, 1 100th f90 kit I was just talking about it's terrible uh, I mean like the the quality of Gumpla back in the day man I'm sure at the time it was like state-of-the-art but it it is it is a joke you could get a better model kit from Dollar Tree these days I don't even think Dollar Tree sells model kits. Let's see. Panel landing video, the most successful video with 4.4. Yeah. Very surprising. I think the next most popular is one of the first videos I did. It was uh, Gumpla Toolkit Essentials, which, if I could, honestly, I would I would edit some of those videos and like change up what I say. But you know, we'll just leave it. <laughs> Ooh. This is a different tone of white. This is more of a gray. Pretty cool. We get some like dual tone action at the top and bottom. <sighs> cool. No. This part should stay secured after we uh, put in the after we put in the red part. You know the trademark like red. This thing. Let's see. Own a lot of old models that aren't Gunpla. The industry has progressed. I agree. I mean, I've seen, I've, I've built a couple. I have one, one that my friend gave me. Let me pull it up real quick. Don't mind my shorts. I'm not gonna stand up actually. So this one, my friend gave me. I think. This one is from like 1983 or something. I can't remember. Honestly, not worth a lot of money, but definitely really cool. It's a Zaku Desert type. But the thing is, when this came out, it was not, uh, there's no color separation. It's all one color. And like, so you have to paint it entirely. And I don't know if you can tell, there's no, there's no nubs to connect anything. Everything has to be glued together. And right here, it even comes with a little tube of glue. And this is the original tube of glue. I think, I think this one specifically is a reissue um, because the originals, I looked it up, the originals had a matte box. This one has like a shiny one. But yeah, my friend said he got this when he was younger, or his, like one of his parents' friends bought it when he was younger and then left it at their house or something. So yeah, super old, very cool. Excited to build that once I uh, get my paint station set up. Do a black and white video on that. That would be interesting. I feel like if I do a black and white video, it'll just look like I, I died though. That's all black and white videos are for, right? Oh, I can put this one away. 
This is a thick chunk of plastic. I'm getting a call. What time is it? So this is my work phone. I shouldn't be getting a call on this. Not until after 8 p.m. anyways. Noir. I I I don't know if that's the actual pronunciation. That's what I say. Noir. No. I don't know. It looks like Noyer. You might say Noyer, but I don't know. I think it's French for sure. They pronounce things, you know, kind of strange, like croissant. So no, Neuer is a noir. It sounds like I'm grinding away at this really hard, but it's really not taking a lot of uh, material out. Unfortunately, actually. One more. Okay. Noir. That is a, uh, that's a good way to put it. New, new, no wait, noir. Noir, noir. Hmm. I don't think my straws, yeah, it's, hmm. I think there's a hole in my straw. One that is not supposed to be there. <laughs> mm hmm. Definitely got a hole in my straw. Oh well. Um. Cool. Put this up here. So. You know that thing that was sliding out on the front that I said would stick once you put the red part on? That is actually like a, uh, a little cover for the this slot right here, which is pretty cool. However, I don't think I don't think it stays up that well. Yeah, th that's loose as well, so that's kind of disappointing. This shield, though it looks very cool, has like the only con so far. Honestly, out of the whole kit, the only cons are with the shield right now. But at, at least it has the cool magnet feature. So there's that. Cool. Got that. Boom. Let's uh, pop that right on. That looks mighty fine. Very. It looks somehow nicer when it's huge. I don't know. I don't know. You guys might be able to 
agree or disagree. Eyes not working, gonna get some sleep. Been fun, thanks. Not a problem, hope you have a good rest. Thank you for stopping by and glad you were able to make it this time. So yeah, you have a you have a good rest, sir. And join you on the next stream. Let me find this hole real quick. Where is it? I don't know. Maybe not why it's so bubbly. Anyways, we are almost done. We have a couple of parts left. Hmm. Q three or four and five. Oh, these ones are kind of cool. From what I remember. Oh. What is up, Pilks UK? Thank you for joining the stream. Haven't seen you in here before. We are building the um, RX-78 II Perfect Grade Unleashed, if you have not noticed yet, with such a huge shield. Let me know down below what you are working on. Or I think for you guys, it might be to the side, not down below. Yeah, let me know of any kits you're working on. And welcome to the chat. That's a cool little sanding block. Never seen one like that before. Yes, this is a um, this is the Gun Primer Razor. Very f not fancy, but I I I definitely like it. It's probably my favorite tool overall. So it it takes the place of a sanding block for sure. But what it is is it's a nano glass file. I sound like an, an advertisement now. I wish Gun Primer would pay me every time I boosted the. The razors but um it's a nano glass file that acts as a sanding stick but as you can see here it doesn't leave any uh doesn't leave any rough marks so that's the magic of nano glass files I have a couple more videos on my channel if you want to check out exactly um, the the science behind it my most recent one goes over the science behind it and my first one or my earliest one about it compares it to sanding sticks but yeah pretty cool nice to have would buy again have bought again <laughs> let's see so this one is going to go um, here boom what so how does this work What did? Hmm? Is it just. I could have sworn. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Never mind. I'm, I'm just gonna forget. I thought I knew what I thought I knew. <laughs> 9, 8, 9, 11, 7, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'll go ahead and cut out all of them. So six. Seven. Rumio, I hope you have a good one. Thank you for stopping by. Um, hope you're able to join the next one. The next one will be working on the armor for the kit. And yeah, hopefully you can stop by then. And until then, I hope you uh, have a good night and have fun working on something. Start building. Uh, let's see. Definitely the Cadillac of sanding, for sure. It, it's 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 my favorite tool. That's that's all. The only other. Th thing I can say about it it's great it's just you know it's pricey there are there are cheaper alternatives which I go over in my videos um, I do however prefer the actual product because of its efficiency and its additional power I 
probably should have cut these out and laid them out in order. Now I'm going to have to figure out which one's which. In the display nippers though um, I do want to get probably at least two to maybe three more nippers before I do another side cutter showdown episode um, I know the vault can nippers are popular I think it's vault, vault can um, there's like there's another brand someone recommended they're like micro mark modeling nippers Something like that. <laughs> I'll have to look into those. But yeah. It's worth the investment in your very bougie opinion. For sure. It, it is kind of a, a bougie kind of tool to have. But... Good tool nonetheless. I would say, if anything, you're getting what you're paying for for the razor. If you try to go cheaper, you'll get less of it, but you'll still get it. there um. blasted through 8 to 10 50s after getting them oh SDs I don't know why I thought you said 50s I was thinking 50 ounces of alcohol. Um, the quality of my finished kits next to them is so different. Good tools really help the builder for sure. Um, but at the same time, just knowing knowing the fundamentals of tools helps too. Knowing how files work. But glad to glad to hear that. Honestly, um, if you're getting better, that means you're doing something right. I mean, because if you if you get worse, then you're definitely doing something wrong. So that's good. Uh, let's see here Q1 this goes here. This is going to I Think this is either way works. Yeah Do not remove magnet it says oh gee. Thanks. I was thinking about removing it This one this is 
I don't know if you noticed that, but this part was that part was very tough to get into spot to place. And I hope I don't snap anything. Um, not this one, this one. Okay, let me do it again. Oh, wait, no, okay. Whew, that was close. I almost forgot about actually putting it in here. So this goes in here. Then, this goes in here. Snap into place. Cool, cool. Now with this, then take this, um, this, which way does it go? It goes like this. This goes here. And these go here. Oop. Everything is, everything looks good. Maybe, how much more can I put this there? Uh, this goes right here. Cool, cool. And now, this goes into the shield. There we go, that's the shield, that's the full shield. So, first impressions on the shield. This doesn't lay flat, so it's not gonna be able to lay flat like most RX-78 shields can. Handle comes out like, oops, like that. That is fine, just the way it is. Um, this part slides up and, oh, that came out. Oh, cause it's just the poly cap that's holding it in. This slides up and down. Um, it feels sturdy enough. Like it doesn't feel like it's like loose on the track. I feel like if you were to slide it back and forth a lot, it would get loose. These parts are very loose up at the top, so I'm surprised this one hasn't come out again. Um, that little cover, like I didn't even touch it after I put it up, so I can put it up, and it's already down. Put it up, it's already down. So, I don't know. Might need to add some super glue or something to that. This ball cap, or this um, poly cap, and the ball joint keep coming out. But let us see this part. So we have the kit right here, and all we should have to do is magnetically attach it. So it does seem like it's a little heavy. Um, that's unfortunate for right now. Um, let me see if we can maneuver it so the center of gravity of the shield itself is a little better distributed. Um, so I can turn it, I can put that up, maybe that would help, so if I have it like closer like that. It should be able to hold, okay, so it does hold. A light shake will kind of dislodge it. However, it seems like it's strong enough to hold itself, so that's good. I think with the armor in place, it would definitely keep it from wobbling around so much. And yeah, the magnet is, it, it does feel a little weak at first, but I mean, if it's strong enough to hold it like that, you're not gonna be doing much other than posing it, so it should be fine. Um, but yeah, anyways guys, that is it for today. Next up, we have um, the, the armor. So we'll be working on, I think the leg armor is probably first. Um, and we'll see how much we can get done there. I'll probably do the same thing where I'll do like a leg on stream and then a leg off stream. Um, same with the arm on stream and arm off stream, but I'll, I'll definitely make sure I finish the last part on stream. That way you guys are there to celebrate with me. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining the stream. Whoever's still here, Ernest, I know you're in here. You better still be in here. But uh, yeah, thank you for joining. Hope you guys have a good rest of the night. And in the meantime, start building.